superhero's mental health and call. We need to talk about his character, especially what happens in season three of Titans. So this will be Hank Call from Titans. Hank was born in 1989 in Washington, D.C. and was raised with his half-brother Don Hall by a single mother. They lived in a poor district and they had the motivation to academically gain scholarships. But we have to go back to their middle school years because there was an incident that we need to talk about and it haunts Hank for the rest of his life. Coach Vincent offered Don a chance to be shown to the weight room. But Hank knew something was wrong. They'd been there before. So he decided to take his place. Sexually abused by his coach and sexually molested. They were blackmailed by the coach and he threatened to take away their scholarships and take them off the team. Soon after that, their mother passes away from cancer, not being able to pay for her medical bills. During their college years, Hank suffered from numerous head injuries and body injuries that slowly got him into addiction, painkillers and alcohol. It became a consistent drug abuse to get over the injuries while playing football. Don started to understand what Hank went through as a kid with that coach. He started to feel guilty, but he decided to penalize sexual offenders in their neighborhood. Hank thought it was a great idea, so they started to patrol the streets as Hawk and Dove. And of course, referencing Fight Club. Rule number one of Fight Club, you never talk about it. On December 14, 2014, they finally made it into the front page. Hawk and Dove shut down the child pornography ring. It was the same day that he met Dawn. Seconds later, a car accelerates so fast, T-boning the truck and the truck slams into a newsstand, killing Dawn, Dawn's mother, and the newsstand guy. If I haven't said this already before, just drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. It helps us motivate for more videos. His body endures pain, physical from football, mentally and physical with sexual molestation, and mentally by losing his mom and his brother. Months later, they're in a group meeting, talking about tragic loss. But they meet outside at a bar. Don hears his story and he hears her. The next night, she finds out about his coach and where he lives. And she goes after him makes him try to admit of what he's done in the past. But they get into a scuffle and Hank finds out about this. So he goes and tries to save her. While Hank is punching the hell out of his own coach, she heads towards the coach's computer and realizes that the coach still has pictures of kids. This old senile man is still sick. So the camera fades away with Hank punching his old coach. One after another after another. And Don closes the door. What we could only assume is that Hank killed him. We're still in season one, so I don't want to go into more of detail because of what happens in season three. So let's just end it here and we'll do a part two later on. Still too soon to do any more because I don't want to give out any more spoilers. But it gets deep. So like, comment, and subscribe. And do you like Hank and Don? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one, Kikads. Peace.